it was and autonomous. Do you want me to drive just next to it or? What you see here is in a real commercial setup, so it's carrying goods. It is a fully commercial setup. We are running this according to the autonomous processes, procedures that we have set up. So meaning that we are picking up the load at the customer depot. We are bringing it to one of our terminals. There we are swapping to an autonomous truck and then we send that away uh, fully autonomously on the highways down to the destination point where we do pretty much the same. I was about to miss the... <laughs> Autona Freight is our offering towards our customers. It is, according to us, the best way for our customers to onboard a new technology without any operational complexities. You should see it as a complete ecosystem. We take care of everything when it comes to moving the goods from A to B, and then they pay us per transported goods. Every design and engineering decision for this truck has been made with safety in mind. Redundancy is important because when the human driver is not in the vehicle, any failure must be resolved. We designed the whole platform based on standardized vehicle autonomous technology platform, where we put safety design principles in. We're using our decades of manufacturing experience to bring in safe and robust production methods to enable that the quality and the safety is maintained right from the start in the production plant. This will enable us to move from tens, hundreds, two thousands of trucks, underlined by our approach of standardized vehicle for autonomous technology platform, which enables us to scale across brands and use cases. So one of my favorite aspects of the Aurora driver is its superhuman capabilities. Cameras really give the visibility that a standard human would have. But when you get into the radar and the LiDAR systems, that's when you get superhuman. For example, our far-reaching LiDAR system allows us to see about 400 meters down the road. That's about four football fields. And when we see objects out at that distance, we know what direction they're traveling, how fast they're traveling. And that gives us the ability to make good, safe decisions when we're operating a vehicle of this size at highway speeds. And so with that technology, we can go out and provide safe and reliable transportation that will empower the industry to move freight. Here on the map is a quick view of our dredge and our autonomous vehicles. We have been transporting goods for some of our key customers according to the autonomous process, gaining revenue and gaining valuable learning experiences. The process starts with the customer sending a request to move their loads. Our operations team in Fort Worth ensures that the load picks up and arrives at the terminal two hours before launch schedule for safety checks. Once the safety check is complete and the load is accepted, we create an autonomous trip plan. Then the magic happens. The schedule is communicated to the customer, providing visibility of the load as it progresses toward on-time delivery. Oh, here you can see our operations team just received a load at Fort Worth Terminal 2 in time to allow for a pre-trip inspection. We are at the Palmer Terminal uh, next to the I-45 in Texas. where it makes sense, where there is a clear purpose. So specific lanes, specific locations. I uh, also see a mix of what we are setting up here, where we are right now. So movement of freight between terminals, but also movement of freight between end locations. So from customer depot to customer depot directly. I see a mix of, of them both. We will have the terminals, but we will also be able to move freight between our customer locations. Operations is a key part of our ecosystem. There's a saying in the trucking industry, nobody's making money if the wheels aren't turning. So that's our responsibility, safe customer service and fleet utilization. It's tedious, 
You need hands on, eyes on every single part of that vehicle and that trailer that you can get hands and eyes on. But if so much as a rivet is missing on the side of the trailer body, it's not good to go. Safety, safety, safety is the focus there. Once that is done and it passes inspection, then it's transmitted to authorities saying that this is a safe load to depart with on an autonomous mission. Peace of mind. That's what uptime brings to the picture. You can touch uptime, you can see uptime, but when you tell a customer, hey, we have an uptime team that monitor this truck on a daily basis, that inspect all the vehicles and have a maintenance program that is follow, you know, the customers understand that, hey, they will be able to deliver what I need to. When we look at maintenance on these, it's almost shifting more towards the mindset of aircraft maintenance, where we're gonna look at it, that part has a set expiration date. If it's run 2,000 engine hours, even though there's nothing wrong with it, let's go ahead and replace it before it could potentially cause a breakdown. And the fact that we're trying to get these trucks up and running, you know, 24 seven, where they don't have to worry about a reset on the log, they don't have to worry about a weight scale, it's gonna just completely revolutionize the trucking industry. They're pretty much the same from the engine side to the after treatment. And then there's extra added things to check as in grounds and batteries as there's a second set of batteries. Our goal is to repair the truck quickly, communicate to our customers and fix it right the first time. So it's really not gonna matter to us if it has a driver or not. Together with our customers and partners, I truly believe that we will be able to transform the industry.